Hey guys, it's the Vyatros. Today we're going to be trying out the Grandma McFlurry from McDonald's. Now McDonald's promises this McFlurry is as sweet as Grandma, and so to achieve that, it includes vanilla ice cream, butterscotch flavored syrup, and butterscotch flavored crumbles. As part of this promotion, they also had a Grandma's McFlurry mobile. However, it's only on Friday and Saturday and only in New York City, so I didn't get the chance to try it out exclusively at that event. But let's go ahead and see how it tastes today. Let's go ahead and take the top off and then give you a better view. Looks pretty interesting. The butterscotch crumbles, I felt like I expected it more to look like butterscotch candy pieces blended up. It kind of almost looks like popcorn, but I imagine it'll still taste pretty sweet. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead, give it the initial taste, and see if this is worth pitting my grandma in. Aerate it. Warm it up. Okay. Yeah, that's surprisingly good. The butterscotch crumbles, I expected it to be like hard candy pieces that you kind of have to like crunch through. They're a bit softer, they have like more give to it, but I feel like it still gives it a little bit of a satisfying crunch and also adds that butterscotch flavor into it. So I'm surprised this is like quite a bit better than I was expecting. Let's go ahead and try some more. As I'm having more of the butterscotch crumbles, it's almost more of a like a pretzel texture that's still a little bit crunchy, but it compresses a little bit. It doesn't stick to your teeth like really solid sticky butterscotch does. I feel like that's definitely a good way to go with this, especially with it being an ice cream. If it got really cold, then it'd be a bit much. But this, it's like, it's mixed in, but it's balanced well. I don't typically get McFlurries, but mine, it had most of the toppings on the top, which I think is standard, but also a lot at the very bottom of it. But once I got down to the bottom, and it was pretty dense with the butterscotch crumbles. It still didn't feel like it was too much. Like the crumbles, it's not something that feels like a long bit goes a long way. You can have quite a bit of it mixed in in a bite, and it's still pretty good. I think almost like a pretzel texture is kind of the best I can compare it to. And so even when there's a lot of it, it doesn't feel like it's overwhelming. Now mixing it together, the butterscotch syrup got mixed in, and so it definitely has like a pretty noticeable butterscotch flavor. I don't think it was anything that was too overwhelming or too sweet, but if you're not a fan of butterscotch, then this isn't going to be for you. Now when it comes to value, the McFlurry is almost $4 at my local McDonald's, and it comes in one size, which is this. Now I don't typically get McFlurries, mainly because the price is a bit high for a dessert, when at McDonald's, about $4 to get you basically a whole meal. The Grandma McFlurry was 10 cents more than the other flavors at the McDonald's I went to, so if you typically get McFlurries, I think this is one that's definitely worth trying out, and like I said, I'd get it again in the future over the other flavors. But if you don't typically get it, then I think the price pits it at a one-time novelty experience, especially if you can share with other people and all get to try it. But for what it is, it is quite good. I liked it a lot. Hopefully this video helped you find out if this is something you would like or if it's worth it for you. But feel free to also check out my other fast food reviews or subscribe for any upcoming ones. By the way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.